Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I wanted to make an announcement in that video and that is that I've booked my flight back to the UK where I was born and lived most of my life. But before I go into that in full detail in this video, I first wanted to give you a bit of inspiration and motivation. And yeah, what I wanna share with you is that I wake up every single day with so much excitement in me that energizes me so much in the morning throughout the day and I never need an alarm clock to wake me up because my passion wakes me up because I get to live my life purpose every single day and pursue it and my passion and my dream career because I made the choice to create it and we all create our own reality and a long time ago, I really wanted to make YouTube my full-time career and I managed to make that become a reality because I kept working hard towards it. I believed in myself and just kept pushing forward and being disciplined and in the end, I achieved it. And so many people are working a job that they absolutely hate and they're just doing it for the money and to just get by in life. And I used to be one of these people and it just makes you feel awful and it destroys your energy levels. So that's just something I wanted to share with you. So now onto the topic of the video. So yeah, I said in some videos in the past that I would never go back to UK, which is also known as Great Britain or England. And I moved to Thailand where I still live now around three and a half years ago, almost now. And the reason why I moved to Thailand, in case anyone's interested, is because I was at a local park where I lived. I went into a, a meditative state about meditating and I felt the deepest sense of relief to be free of all the material items I had because I had a lot. And it just brought tears of joy to me and I felt so amazing. And then I automatically connected to my heart and it told me to sell everything and move to Thailand. So I did that within six months and I just believed in something higher than myself whether you believe in God, Buddha, the creator, whatever it is, I believe in the creator, you could say, or the universe. And yeah, I didn't have any fears, worries, or concern. I just had complete faith and trust that it was meant to be. And I followed through with it, and I've never traveled anywhere on my own, let alone moved to another country. And since moving here, my life and myself has just completely transformed in more ways than I could ever possibly imagine. It's helped me become the best version of myself. It helped me go in the direction of pursuing my dream career and my dream life. So it's been an absolutely amazing experience. It's not been easy at times, but if you do what is easy, your life will be hard. And yeah, what I actually found is about a couple of months ago, I felt the first desire to go back to the UK and actually feeling that I really, really missed my family that lived back in England. So that is why I've decided to go back to England. And I'm really, really, really excited. I'm really, really, really eager and I'm really looking forward to it. And what I want to share with you is the reason why I'm so excited is that my family are so amazing. A lot of people have families where they don't feel that they can really connect with them so well and that they don't have a good connection with them at all and they're not very like-minded. And this is a very common thing for the majority of people from what I've found from speaking to other people and finding out about their families and the connections that they've had. But yeah, my family, for example, my dad, he's into yoga. He's also into bodybuilding and he's been into fitness almost his whole adult life and also from a younger age as well. He's also into intermittent fasting, a vegan diet. The delicious goes on and on and on for him. My stepmom is into a vegan diet. She's also into fitness and other various things that I'm interested in. I also have uh, my sister Lucy, Sophie, and Isabel and my brother Michael. And Sophie's around 16 months younger than me. I call her like my twin. And Sophie is the one that I connect with like the most ever because we've always had such a very strong bond. And she's into all the different types of detoxification that I'm into. She's very, very knowledgeable on health and healing. She's also into supplementation. She's also into intermittent fasting juicing, just healthy living, spiritualism, like the list just goes on and on and on for her. And my sister Lucy, she does some extended fast recently, she's, she's into that. 
She's also a vegan as well. Sophie's vegan as well. And she's into all the different types of detoxification. I lived with her for a while. She moved into my place and it was just amazing living with her. One of the best people that I've ever lived with. She's very spiritually developed as well. And yeah, again, so many amazing things with her. And my brother, Michael, just reminds me of me. He's literally like a younger version of me in many, many ways and how I used to be. And he's someone that wants to pursue YouTube as a career and that's into vlogging and photography. And yeah, he's just a really amazing person. But I don't know if he'll actually be there. From what he told me, he would be there when I go back and we should be syncing up, which would be absolutely amazing. But my brother, just like me, at around 19 years old, he decided to sell pretty much everything and move to Australia. And he's been in Australia, Thailand, New Zealand, he's been to loads of different places. And that was around, what, two years ago or so? So yeah, and what I say is, he actually had an experience with me where he was in the Royal Marines, and he had this amazing experience with me in Portugal at a festival that I went to in 2014. And it made him want to get out of the Royal Marines and travel the world and do things. So yeah, I'm glad that I managed to have that effect on him. And then also Isabel, she's quite a lot younger. So there's not loads for me to connect with her, but she listens to a lot of the music that I used to listen to at her age and she's very, very similar to me at the age that she's at. And I can't actually remember her age now, which she may be around 15 or so. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing all them. And also, my dad has now had another child that is around seven months old. So it'd be amazing to see him and his name is Lenny. And then also my sister Sophie has a child that's around three years old. I'm really excited to see her. And then we have my mum, who is there, that is into a vegan diet. She's training for a triathlon, so she's really into fitness. She's into detoxification and healthy living and so many other different amazing things that I am very interested in. And then it's also my nan as well, that's into a lot of healthy lifestyle practices and she's just an amazing person. So as you can see, they are just absolutely amazing people that I can connect with in very deep, amazing, profound ways. So connecting with them is exactly like connecting with my amazing close friends. So I'm very, very grateful for that because many people don't ever get to experience that with their family members. And especially my dad. My dad is just, wow. I am like him in so many ways and vice versa. And we are so interested in so many of the same things that quite a few times we will connect over WhatsApp and I'll start talking about intermittent fasting or something else and we just get really, really excited and just go back and forth with our interaction on whatever topic we are excited about and talking about with each other. So yeah, you may be wondering, when am I going back? And my family members keep wondering that as well. I'm not telling you and I'm not telling them. It's a surprise. And we're gonna make some really exciting videos out of surprising them of coming back when I do. So yeah, you will find out when I'm going there. And if you're someone that really does wanna know because you'd like to meet up with me when I'm in England, I'm gonna be there for around two weeks, then contact me via Facebook. I put a link down below from my Facebook profile. And as long as I feel comfortable with sharing it with you, and I know you won't share it with my family members or just share it all around online, then I will let you know and we could arrange to meet up. I will be in London for around two days, Brighton for a day or two, and then the rest of it I will be in the Kent region, more specifically Margate, Broadstairs, Ramsgate, and quite possibly Canterbury as well. And yeah, it's gonna be a really nice experience to go back as well because I haven't been there for a while and there'll be a few other people that are friends of mine that I would like to connect with that are very like-minded as well. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how it turns out. And then after I've been there, I'm then gonna to go to Los Angeles, and then I'm gonna to go to Mexico, and then we see what happens from there. I feel like traveling around a little bit because I've been in Thailand for a while, and I feel like exploring. 
And what I'll say is Chiang Mai, Thailand, more specifically, will always be my home because it feels exactly like it is my home because it is my home. It's the most amazing place that I've ever lived and I love it so much. And it has the highest pro to con ratio for me. And it just feels so right to be back here where I currently am at the moment because I just recently moved back here around three days or so from Koh Phangan, Thailand, which is a Thailand that I've been at since around February of this year. And my last thing I mentioned is it's gonna be really exciting for me to be there because I can make a lot of vlog videos of what I do in a day and what I eat in a day and I'll be going to loads and loads of different places and really exploring in the areas that I am in England. So I have a lot of amazing different video content to share with you. And for me, pursuing more of a vlogging career with YouTube, if you don't know what vlogging is, it's where you just vlog your life and what you're up to and what you do. It's something that I'm very, very passionate about. So by being in new places, doing different things, I have more of an opportunity to make a lot more of those types of videos because yeah, when you're in the same place doing the same things over and over again, you can't just keep making loads of videos on a regular basis. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. As always, if you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up, and please share this video with anyone that you think wants to know about why I'm going back to the UK and for how long and all the other details that I've shared around it. And maybe you also can share this video with people that might be inspired and motivated by some of the things that I've shared with you in this video. And if you haven't already, make sure that you click that subscribe button down below if you would like to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis, where I'm making specific videos, noisy, obnoxious, scooters well motorbikes even sorry about that and yeah you will receive informational videos from me on a regular basis on one meal a day calisthenics intermittent fasting what i eat in a day and what i do in a day videos also be sharing videos of just my life as well and what is going on for me and many other different types of videos as well so if those type of videos sound good to you make sure that you do click that subscribe button down below and that you click that bell notification button next to the subscribe button otherwise youtube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and i have new ones coming almost every single day so as always stay fit stay energetic and go and get those gains peace